And I'm here today specifically to thank you, Mr. Mulcair and the NDP and Mr. Paul Dewar for supporting me and for being there for my family and engaging with my lawyers and um, directly in, uh, questioning Mr. Harper in Parliament when um, about the mild stance towards my case. I refused to believe in myself at the beginning that my own government wasn't there for me when I needed them the most. I felt betrayed and uh, I joined the chorus when I was released on bail, the international chorus that was very angry at the mild stance and the fact that Mr. Harper did not understand the urgency of this very complicated case that was not just about freedom of speech, it was also a geopolitical battle between two nations, Egypt and Qatar, and I am here today, honestly, to just express my gratitude again. And we have spoken about um, uh, issues related to press freedoms and my intention to continue to uh, champion uh, and support those who are behind bars. We have 200 journalists around the world who are imprisoned and 65 this year who have just been, who have been killed while they're do doing their jobs. So I do in intend to specifically uh, mention that um, lessons to be learned from this is that the Canadian government and Mr. Harper uh, should realize that a direct, immediate intervention should happen when someone is detained before he is referred to court. That window, whether it's a week or two weeks, is the chance for extraction. 